Hi guys, welcome back here to Farming Simulator 22 and today we are going to be having a look at the pet supply plant alright and this is going to be part 11 on our let's play tutorial alright so let's have a look at the pet supply plant here this is it the, the pet supply plant here they make uh, bird houses, scratching trees for cats, and they make here dog houses. So what they need here is longboards and sheep wool. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. I have something set up on the map for this. Let's see where you can uh, sell their their products here. Come up here. You can sell their bird house here at the Elm Creek and at the Silver Run Market here. The next one here is the scratching tree for the cats. You can also sell that at Elm Creek and the Silver Run Market here for 6,000. You get more at Elm Creek. The dog house or the dog kennel, I should say. You can also sell this here at the Elm Creek or at the Silver Run Market. Of course, you get uh, more money at the Elm Creek, but when you let the time go by in the game, these prices are going to vary. All right. So longboards and wool. Now I have something uh, set up here. I have some longboard set up on my trailer here. We're gonna jump into the truck and uh, we're gonna drive down to the pet supply plant and bring them their longboards and the wool. Um, up at the sheep area, we have to load up one more pallet of wool and then we're gonna bring that trailer also to the pet supply plant and give it to them because they will need it to make the products and we're gonna have a look at the products too that they make once they spawn on the, on the trigger we're gonna have a look at it see what they will look like so the pet supply plant is practically downtown not too far away from the from the dealership Yeah, and we can uh, drive over the trigger with our trailer. The longboards are going to be taken off the trailer automatically, so I hope so anyway. Um, we're going to have to back up a little bit more here, otherwise we might not be able to make it through that gap over there. We're going to have to drive through here to offload our our long boards here, we're going to take the straps off and look at that, we are offloading automatically here once we drive over the trigger here alright, so let's see how many boards yeah, 14,000 long boards, you can uh, give them a lot more, I think here 30,000 or even 20,000 long boards here will fit into this here slot so i'm guessing here 20,000 all right but i had uh, not enough long boards so we're gonna back this out again and then we are gonna what is that board doing over there we're gonna park the trailer here Like so, we're gonna grab this uh, long board here real quick, take it off the road, we're gonna do this, yeah, 15,000 for that one packed of long board. Okay, let's uh, drive up to the sheep now.
Um, I think there's a shortcut to the sheep. It's you have to uh, come down to the dealer here. There's a route from the dealer going straight through the woods here, over the railroad crossing. You can drive straight through the woods. Here there's a patch up there. It's a blank spot up there. You can uh, place buildings on it if you want. I have placed my sheep up there just for the sake of this video. All right. We're gonna hook up to this here trailer. These are my sheep here. Sheep give wool in game. You have to feed them here water and either grass or hay and then they will produce here wool. So uh, you have here four pallets going across here. So in all you, ha you have um, eight pallets of wool here on their trigger when every pallet is spawned here and one pallet of uh, wool contains 1000 liters of wool. I have uh, my sheep here. Those are Bentheimer country sheep, I would say. Here they will take water and either here grass or hay. You can see the hay and grass filling up once you give them something to eat. That is the, the product here, wool. And they can reproduce as well. So I'm gonna jump into this here forklift. I'm gonna load up this last pallet of wool. And then we're gonna come down to the pet supply plant and bring them the wool. And then we're gonna fast forward the game and see what the what the products look like. All right. Let's go. So we're going to have to do the same thing over again. We're going to have to drive through there to offload our wool pallets. Before we do that, take the straps off. All right, let's have a look and see how much wool. Yeah, that was only 9,614 and they are producing here already 7 liters here of the birdhouse and 6 liters of the dark house. We're gonna fast forward the game. I'm gonna get out of the truck here. I'm gonna come over here. That is where the products are gonna spawn. Let's uh, do that. Come up to it. I'm gonna let the time run through here. And you can see we are producing here already. 15,000 liters here of longboards, 9,000 or 9,500 of wool. The birdhouse, 190 liters. The scratching tree for the cat, 200. Yeah, I wonder what they will look like when they are going to spawn here on the tr trigger. And I think um, for each pallet, we, we are going to have. A thousand liters. 
thousand liters of um, of a birdhouse pellet, a thousand liters of a scratching tree for the cat, and a thousand liters of dark house on the pellet, and uh, yeah. So we're coming up to the 400 liter mark here, 500. So it's going to be a thousand liters each before one of them will spawn. Good. So they will spawn at a thousand liters. Yeah, coming up to eighteen hundred hours here. So this is our, this here, natural pet comforts. All right, that is our pet supply plant. Natural pet comforts. Let's have a look in here. That is their, their store where they sell the pet supply items. Yeah. And we are here producing already. Cool. What is this? This here is... Those are the bird houses. Look at that. Those are the bird houses. That is brilliant. Look at that. Little bird houses here on a pallet. Over here we have... Those are the cat scratching trees here. You have the poles. Then you have... Here do the little wooden boards which uh, which you can build the cat scratching tree from. Here we have that little um, yeah that is where the wooden pole will go through here. That one here will probably go through here to set it all up. So that comes out on a pallet. That is the cat scratching tree. Those are the little bird houses here. Look at that. Holy, that looks brilliant, guys. Look at the birdhouse here. <laughs> okay. Last but not least here, we have our dog house, or you can call that the dog kennel as well. We have here slits on the roof, all the way around. Little slits here to keep the water here the water will run down the slits in real life when it rains out of a dock kennel that has slits too. The water will run right down here. Can we somehow look into it? Yeah, that way. Can't see much. But it's, uh, it's there, yeah. So we have here two times, two times the birdhouse, one pallet. Here and one pallet there with one time the, the scratching tree for the cats and we have one time here the dog kennel yeah dog kennel so I showed you guys where you can sell those items I showed you guys here the pet supply store and uh, that is gonna be it on that video see up there the, the chimney while they are producing they have the chimney on Alright, so thanks for watching guys, that covers um, the video on the pet supply plant, thanks for watching, let me know in comments below what you guys think of this video and also let me know in comments below if you guys play the Platinum DLC for Farming Simulator 22. Subscribe to my channel, watch the videos, like the videos and comment, alright, do all that good stuff guys. Those are the four awesome things you can do on my channel, guys. You guys are awesome. So, until next time, we will be starting in the next video on the boat yard. I think we are going to be starting there. And when we get done with the boat yard, we're going to be starting the roller coaster. All right. 
I'm looking forward to those two things on the map here already. And I bet you guys are too, so stay tuned for more videos to come. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.